Education in Abia State is both pillar and uh, an enabler. Everybody in Nigeria understands the fact that Abia is populated by very, very gifted, highly gifted people, people who are skilled, people who can do things with their hands. In our schools, we have well-equipped libraries and we have well-equipped science laboratories. Our teachers are well qualified. Our emphasis is on technical education, not on any kind of education, technical education, because we want to be able to produce middle cadre manpower that will make very good freshmen for the engineering faculty in our polytechnic as well as in our university. We also want to produce people with very good school sets, yet they are good carpenters. Beautiful school sets, five credits, six credits, seven credits, nine credits in one city, but they are also good welders. They are good electricians and so on and so forth. Since the uh, creation of this state, uh, a bit uh, more than 20 years ago, I can say without any fear of contradiction that this government, led by Dr. Keze Bitti Bazo, has gone the extra length in making sure that our children learn and study in a very decent environment. When the governor came into power, he divided our school into two and now we are comfortable with good libraries and equipment in the school. Before I get to school, it would be around 9 o'clock. The road was, it's, it's very bad and some um, cars will follow through up and ways. Um, before the governor now built um, these roads now and we the students as we are coming to school we convey a car straight to this place without um, stress when we are together he, we, we are finding it so difficult to learn because of some some students will make noise because of, of our population, no seats for some to sit down and facilities we are not that good in when we are together. But in this school now, I really thank God that we have well-equipped laboratories, classrooms, even our, when we are in, in the same school, our classrooms was not tight, it was concrete floor. started with the renovation and remodeling of our technical schools. We have four technical schools, one in Aba, we have uh, some in Omoaya, and then we have the technical school in Arochuku. So the technical schools are our focus. And then in, in mainstreaming the technical schools, we launched with what we call E4E, -E, Education for Employment Program. Uh, under the Education for Employment program, about 4,000 youths uh, have been passed through the MBTE and they sat for uh, exams testing their skills on ICT, carpentry, sewing and all kinds of things. And I am proud to say that about 95% of those who sat for that exam did well. And um, some of them are being employed today to drive uh, ICT um, uh, platforms in the various local governments uh, of our states. This government is constructing more than 300 school buildings across the three senatorial zones of this district. In addition, this government is also doing four model schools 
spread across three senatorial zones of the state. This is in addition to the more than 65 schools that we have renovated in the past 24 months. We've sunk more than 20 boreholes in many schools across the state. It came to me as a surprise. When I came in here at the principal of the school, I met only three old dilapidating buildings. And it wasn't uh, this room, the buildings were not enough for the student population. But we managed to fix ourselves. All of a sudden, we saw a new development. The governor, Ebu governor, Ashon governor of Abia State, Dr. Victor Okeze Bazu came to our aid. With all these structures you are seeing, we never expected them. Look at laboratory, physics, chemistry, biology laboratory. Look at the other one, library, a modern library built by our able governor. Look at this one, three classroom block. Behind the library, you will see the staff quarters staff quarters behind and the principal's quarters also over there and going this way there is a 10 classroom block being built and the other four classroom blocks there very wonderful thing because they were schools where you go no roof some parts of the building were collapsed and it made study in such schools very 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 awkward and uh, um, uh, uninteresting but since the governor came into uh, into office he used men and women of integrity this development is a, a wonderful development that I, as an individual, appreciate and I thank God for it. started barely four years ago with almost nothing. When this school started, I know that many of our teachers lost their furnitures that they brought in by themselves. Our students were almost sitting on the floor, almost all of them sitting on the floor. I said that the government, Mr. Okazier, Dr. Okazier, Victor Bazo is really trying. Because we well, on the first year that we came here, this school was not up to this point, well, there was no there were no buildings at all. Well, the ones that we were managing, we were uh, it was not well ventilated because of the number of students that were there. And looking at the aspect of our of our school, before he came into power, our school looked like a village school, but now our school is not is now calm and attractive. Everybody is now admiring our school. Abia today is the only state that is feeding. Uh, primary one to six. Uh, the federal government is supporting school feeding from primary one to three. But um, we, we, we know very well that it is difficult to feed uh, primary one to three and then starve primary four to six. We decided to feed everybody so that there will be no social disharmony within the uh, school environment. And even among siblings in one family going to the same school. Um, the result of this uh, is that today school enrollment has moved from 115,000 to about 303,000 in public schools, um, which is uh, satisfying our desire to reverse the trend or shift from public school to private school, which was the, the, the situation before now. Um, we also have a very strong collaboration uh, to retrain our primary school teachers uh, through an Australian-based NGO 
uh, that has trained and retrained about 1,000 primary school teachers as at October 18, 2017. These 1,000 primary school teachers are now ICT savvy and they are going to form the backbone of those that will train our primary school pupils so that uh, in the next two, three years, our primary three pupils will be able to uh, open a computer, type in their name, type the name of their teacher, probably their subjects, or do any assignments on computer and then log off. This is where we intend the primary education in, in Abia State to get to in the next two years. This government has intervened at several levels. So it's not just a question of bricks and mortar. The governor has graciously approved the program for the training and retraining of primary school teachers in the state. This program is anchored by some of Abians in diaspora who live and work in Australia. They are bringing to bear their experience over there to help to improve the standard of education in their home state. We've also just recently uh, done the first of its kind, the International uh, Summit on Education, where we brought in various stakeholders in the, in, in the state, from outside of the state, from outside of the country, for them to think aloud on matters concerning education and how best to improve that particular sector. So we've been trained at so many levels, not just only at the primary school level, but also at the secondary school level and at the tertiary education level. We've also intervened not just only matters of infrastructure, but matters at this area, the matters concerning the quality and content of the, the, the products that our teachers deliver. The task is not yet done. There is still a lot of work to be done, and I believe that it will be an affront to common sense for anyone to uh, say that the governor uh, should stop work now or that the governor uh, should pack up and go home. Uh, in the best interests of this state, in the best interests of the people of this state, it is my own opinion that the governor should continue, that he needs more time to get this job done. There is so much to be done. We need not at this, at this stage uh, change horses midstream. It doesn't make sense, particularly when you have a very willing and hardworking horse, so to speak. Uh, so uh, some may say, oh, this is a commissioner speaking. But I speak not as a public office holder. I speak not as a political appointee. I speak as a concerned Abian and as someone who has worked very closely with the governor. There is hardly any document that has left this desk and approached that of the office of the governor, which has not received approval. It shows you the level of trust, it shows you the level of commitment that the governor has towards ed education. to say today that all of our efforts put together has returned Abia on the number one spot in Nigeria uh, in West African School Certificate Examination for three years running back to back. 
and we intend to stay there for a long time. The rating of our university has improved from about 90 in, in, in the past two years to about uh, 40 today. Uh, and we intend to get into the first 10 uh, before the end of 2019. So the indices that uh, point to the fact that we are doing the right thing in terms of education are very clear and we are going to continue to work on them. Um, as you all know, we have begun the automation of the various manufacturing processes in our environment and space. And we want to say that between now and the next uh, two years, uh, going forward, people can begin to come to Abia for investment just on the score that yes, Abia has requisite manpower capable of driving industrialization. Thank you to the governor. Victor, okay, Zay Pazu. Dr. Okay, Pazu. Okay, Zay Pazu. Dr. Okay, Zay Victor Pazu. Kosi Bazu has been a good governor. He has been doing some certain things in Abia State. In Abia State now we can have a, a flyover in Abia. With that, he's trying. We, the Keke people, will vote for Okezi Bazu 2019. This governor has done a marvelous thing. Go to many roads in Abia, go to Mwa roads, the road called Arando. Go to Emeziaka, go to MCC. Go to uh, Fox Road. My God, since I've been living in Abba, I've not seen such a governor. You can go to OCC, I can see flyover. No governor has built this flyover in this state. So, a matter of fact, uh, all the KK people in Abba concluded that Okazi okay, Bazo is going to run for, for next tenor. So, Okazi okay, Bazo is the next governor we know. It's the man we know. Uh, well, it's our, our able governor, Dr. Okazi okay, Bazo. As I, I, I believe he will, he will still remain in the city. No, you know, he's, he's been doing a nice, a nice work in this state. He's been trying. And uh, I know that God will strengthen him to do a lot of things for the state. We can have we are going to support Dr. Okay in 2019 election. She has done so many other roads and flyover and Aba Road. I, Chukwemeko Okombe, will vote for Okay Zibazo 2019. Okezia is my elder brother. He's from what is I'm from what five. I love him the man because he's the man of all everybody. You have done a lot for the Abia State. Many good roads and the clothes. You have already approved Aba material to outside countries and shoes to outside countries. So since other people have been rolling, it's only him that admin Aba products. To outside country. So in that case, I appreciate him a lot. Then you vote in Governor in Basu 219 by the God, grace of God. By the grace of God. I say, my name is Chukwudu Jonathan. 2019, we vote for Okezie Basu. So, I am make a lay, Okezie, Governor, Nai Han, Amen. You are only buying a team, you see, Emerson Yakede, Yagota, or some. I am make a lay, Nai Han, Amen. I may be a potato or throw the bar. When I came by office, I got a good road. I get a bus or fly over. Just a fly over. Got to the mass. Stay to the mass. Got a good road. When I got direct, stay na fly over. Got a good road. I'm not making any account. Now, see, I got a new home on them. Now, 2019 election, I can also. I don't know. The reason why the KK people, we want him to come back as our next governor. I mean the governor, Dr. Okezi Igbazo. Because of uh, the good roads and uh, security. Good road and security. So we have been enjoying it and we want it more. So that is why we want him to come back 2019. I want to vote 
between the, the star hall and the bar. As governor, okay, Jay Baz. Then in 2019, I will vote for the the, uh, the present governor, which is uh, OKJ Ibazo. Now, no matter how things may be done, he's planning his own part as a governor of Abia State by doing some certain roads and all the maintenance of the, of the state. Um, I will vote for OKJ Ibazo because he is a good man. He has been good to us. At least I'm, I'm, I have seen many things he has done for our state. Governor Okezi Kwazu is doing well. We are going to vote him in 2019. I'm not a politician, but I will vote, uh, Governor Okezi Kwazu. Why I want to vote for him is because he deserves to go for two tenors. I am here to congratulate our Governor Okezi Kwazu for his good work for this state. See, Patakot Road are functioning now. You can enter Moto straight to inside town. It's a, it's, a, it's a good test in our in Nugunabo, LG Abia State. Everywhere are functioning, including Abia State as a whole. Everywhere are functioning, everybody are happy. So I'm here to testify our governor and lifted our governor for his good work. I say, God, who bring our governor in this state, may God. Give him long life and prosperity. I'm a make a lay, okay, see, Bazo. I'm a good governor. I'm a friar's body, Henry. I'm a man, I'm a tall line yourself. Okay, see, Bazo, many. I have wounded the girl up at a court road. I am a lying garija, Gaya. But I am a fire, I mean, Henry. Yeah, me, Henry, I'm a fire alone. Then they couldn't see a governor, I get a governor, I get a bit. She never gets you but a lie. Governor, I'm boiling, get my own and die in my lobby. Okay, see, Bazo. How do you mean die in my lobby? Otu we are happy what Okeze Abia is doing. We are happy. We are begging Okeze Ibazu. We are with him. We will also help him. In 2019, he's going to rule again. We know our God will help him in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going for years. But okay, I got got Lord, I'm a lot of young and I got it. It is a little bit of a hand. Okay, 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 ok